tuxedo that is one dead in one. Yep, I mean, I'm still curious to see what character we are going to see. That's only one of the characters we saw right, we're playing. <laughs> we're we're telling like the story of, like, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's going to play, like, Luke Mario or something. Yeah. No, it looks like it is going to be the Ike Mr. that Game I mentioned one. earlier. Um, so, again, another character, very strong hits, pretty heavy. But the other thing that he has in this matchup that uh, the Ken doesn't is the sword. Yeah, you know, strength. Game and Watch, historically, very short range character. It's going to be difficult for him to get in onto uh, Crudge's, uh, you know, actually land some hits on him. Three, yeah. Two, we'll see what, what kind of hits he does uh, able to get. So we'll see. So far, Paper starts up pretty slowly here in the middle. I do like the fact that he's looking for a little bit of spacing, a little bit of footsies. He understands Ike's game plan here is either Tomahawk grab, just like so, okay. or go for a neutral air and make sure I have it well spaced. That's that's Paper's signal to understand, like, okay, I just got Tomahawk grab, that's his game here. He's going to be the one walking into me, and while Paper's trying to go for uh, some kind of jab, he's the one getting hit. Yeah, I mean, already off to a good start, Crudge playing the matchup extremely well, very patiently just trying to space out Paper and make sure he can, you know, kind of whip punch and make him feel like he's trying to put on a move out in his face. Yeah, I do like the fact that Paper did go for the down throw back air, simply because he knows that uh, Crudge is going to go for the DI in the stage. Trying to read that. Here's the neutral into the upper air. Like I told you, man, that's one thing paper to understand. What's going to be the mix up game from the high? Ooh. The fact that Game and Watch here, I told you, top five like character in the game. I just went ahead and swipe that up into the stars. Yeah, and just calling out the star up and the down air with an upper of his own spacing and correctly so he didn't get clipped by the cube. He was able to take such an early stop and take the lead over paper right now. Yeah. Nice, good solid, that's a solid space move there, so he's able to react out of it immediately though, but he's still getting hit by the up B. For Crudge at this point in the game, right, coming back to the stage at the end of the game, just tries to do that yet again, Paper will catch it just like so. Great response right there from Paper. I do, know, I do like that Crudge is very optimistic with his new players, and especially the fact that he set off really strong with the top hot grab. I definitely want to make sure, that for him, the game the game is to make sure the arm mix goes up, but also understanding the footsies game, because Paper was the one demonstrating that early on, so it's kind of caught on to Crudge. Look at the percent he already has in terms of a lead. Yeah, Paper definitely bringing this one back so far, but as I say that Crudge gets the neutral in, the upper takes a small percent lead, back to, oh no, rather a down throw into the neutral air and an up lead, Paper taking that lead right there. Oh, I, I, so I respect the fact that he went for Chef, but the thing here is like you leave Ike so much space that Ike does, like you said, he has a sword, he's got that disjoint, he's gonna be able to use a land, come back at Paper, waits for the reaction here for Paper because he knows the common thing to do here for Game & Watch, go for the down air and he got caught in Chef yet again. I like that option here, but you have to respect disjoints. Yeah, the thing is, you know, the Chef is a very good tool for stuffing out coaches, but he doesn't need a buzz. Game and Watch, a lot of these times you're seeing Crudge just jump on top of Game and Watch and get these three stocks off it with either the neutral or the bagger that we saw. Exactly, and Crudge isn't even going for a neutral getup or a roll getup. He's making sure that he goes for an aerial getup, so he's kind of already had the right opportunity to understand, like, okay, this move only covers these few options, so if I'm not doing any of those, and if I get around, I'll be fine. Paper goes for the up throw, no up air, and it's forcing Crush to retreat back to the edge. I like that option. Coming back to center stage would have been the terrible play because you might fall to the arm of Game Watch. Yeah, and Crudge has been playing this stock so well. As I say that, he doesn't realize the bomb explodes a little bit delayed. <laughs> he thought, you know, would explode on his shield and he could jump out of it, gets caught with it. But he, what I was saying is he's been playing so patiently, so well, reacting to what people want to do and not really overcommitting. Yeah. Speaking of overcommitting here, once again, that's the one time that I do see Chef where it gets a bad time by turning an approach like that. Paper is able to really jump it out. Uh, once again, we see a good difference in the up here. I'm like, okay. He's kind of cut onto the approach of Crudge. Might be landing with Nair, might be landing with a Tomahawk grab. Chef able to so far suppress that. Good empty hop. Doesn't go for any kind of grab. But unfortunately, he's like he's trying to go for a dash grab afterwards. He might have missed him put on that one. Goes for the dash track, nearly killing Game & Watch right there. Look, I don't want to tell you, man, this might be an upset of the night here with Game 1 if I'm going to Crudge here, but definitely Paper knows that. Upset for Game 1 might be happening pretty soon. Yeah, I mean, Paper does still have the percent lead. He doesn't have to throw the time in. I'm just staying away from Crudge right now. If he overcommits just once, he gets caught with a backer, he's going to lose this game number 1. Yeah, there's up for Crudge to land on the ledge, yep. and there's there the end. There it is. Overcommitting with the chef at the ledge, he has to recognize he cannot use that again. Yeah, yeah man. If, if, look, if you're getting punished by the third time, it's more of your shame the bear than your opponent's. Because your opponent's only just going ahead and say, like, okay, if you really want to go for a chef for, like, the ninth time, and it only worked on me when I approach and not on the comeback, 
I don't know, man. I just think called mix-ups, and <laughs> might want to start looking to implement one of those. Yeah, it's just so important because the keeps see. He goes for the chef, Crutch jumps over it, nails him, and he dies for it. You know, he really got no chef. I don't know how that big sword, man. Yeah. Johnny, disjoints matter with a sword character. That's kind of what the fireman is really known for. It's having some kind of disjoint. But for Ike, it's him to just know, like, okay, go, landing fair, man. This looks pretty critical yeah. for him to reach out. If I were people here, man, it's this is what you want to start looking to do. Punish your opponent for going for that neutral and stop going for Chef. The only thing he's cooking himself is a cook. Literally a dish of the meat. I don't want to go ahead and tell you more cooking puns, but I'm telling you, Gordon Ramsay felt assault the last game. That's why your paper has a little bit of avocation here, and that's why he has a little bit of lead. But as I say that, man, commentators first. Crunch making sure he's going to land the first upset of the night. Yeah, that was and that was such a weird play from Paper because he had such a lead and they just tried to run up and hammer it. Yep. And just being got you, hit. And you know what happened? He, so he, he wanted Game & Watch to still be the RNG hero that he used to be. He was like, alright man, if you guys ban here, if you guys ban here in Australia, we might, uh, we might have to ban Game & Watch for hammer and SoCal. Yeah. Is it like one of the best players in Australia, Game & Watch man? Um, I know Luke was like one of the best, I, I don't know where he is in PR, but I know he's like the, one of the best in Australia. I mean, we're, we're talking about the land down under, man. That up B starts from down under, and that's kind of one of the moves that actually sends the push into the air. And he's got the stock laid against paper. Like, I don't even know if this guy was originally a brawl player who just changed the tag or what, because I'm telling you, man, he made the trick the first upset of the night. Yeah, I'm loving the use of empty hot right here at the front touch. He's just been playing in and out of paper green without actually committing to Exactly. He knows he's got that high percent, so he's making sure he's keeping himself pretty well spaced. That up, I like the choice of up throw, making sure he has him off the stage, and for extra damage, he will eject those seed with his man for the blast run. Yeah, and that's what I want to see more of from paper, even though he doesn't have like the forward air to edge run anymore. I want to see back airs, and I want to see up way out there. He knows he can make it back. And Clutch is having a couple of Exactly. And we saw the interaction earlier where Clutch was able to go for Nutra over Chef. I'm telling you, I don't know why Paper's still using that move in this neutral. Like, there, it's, it's literally now, now that you know what move I can do against Chef, it's kind of like your opportunity to understand, like, okay, this move is not really usable in this matchup for me right now, or at this moment against the player. It's time to just go ahead and abandon that and try to find a different option, especially in this neutral. But I understand, like, Paper wants that percent, right? He's predicting that coming, and if he doesn't get the neutral or the forward air in time, he will get caught by this damage. Yeah, I mean... The issue isn't necessarily using the move, it's the range he's been using it for. Yeah. The past couple of times, Paper's kind of been farther away, using it a little bit from a harder to punish kind of distance. Yeah. And it's been working out for him, but it's when he's trying to do it while Clutch is at the ledge like that, that's not been working out for him. And we're talking about adaptation, right? Like, Paper finally made the uh, actual call out to see, like, okay, he might be going for a board arrow this year after Chef. Here's my upbeat, but the problem is, like, I do like the fact that Clutch has a little bit of patience knowing, like, I don't want to land directly on it, I want to make sure I land directly on Game & Watch before he gets the game smash. Take the stock away from this man, and then there lose my stock too in the process. There it is a second stock where Paper's gone out there, edge guarded Clutch's side beat, and gotten the stock for it. Oh, I love that for the game here, man. He goes for the empty hop, hop. Literally, for a grab. Great time yeah. grab. Yeah, and he, now he has 36% more percent onto Paper. He's got this man schnicks. Side beat. That, 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 was, that was a missing play, though. You could tell, like, okay, I don't think he meant to do that. Yeah, but it's one of those things that neither, or player, or, neither player was ready for. Paper really wasn't able to punish it. But got the spot down. Oh, this is where. Oh, the, this, is where this is where you get cheated yeah. a little bit. Yo, he holds it for too wow. long. I'm telling you, like, it, it works, but the problem is, like, the end lag of the move, and Ike has enough time to just go ahead and land with an aerial, land and roll, and still punish you. I get it, though. I, I understand it. Oh, there's an up air. Watch, watch for the down air. Classic game and watch over here. Wait yeah. for the patients who do have those platforms to find the punish, but unfortunately, I felt that Crutch is a little too overzealous. Might have missed input or gone for the up on purpose. Yeah, maybe he was just looking for a bit of damage to get inside of Paper's head. You know, he wants this upset, he doesn't want to take it to a game number three because if Paper gets the momentum, it's going to be very deadly for a crush. Momentum and adaptation, too. Once you get the game three right, your opponent yeah. has a couple things more fixed out. Exactly, there's the dash check, but it's not going to connect. Good patience. He didn't, uh, so he up tilted, but maybe his main paper might come for the aerial here, but he didn't go for an aerial himself, knowing, like, okay, he's leading away from me, so he could look for some sort of whip on it. If I were Crudge, man, stick it to center stage and wait. There's the opportunity here. He's going ahead and has to use the quick shot to make sure he recovers here. Yeah, and one thing I want to point out that I noticed is that people use a single, you 
Lisa the chef, and then immediately held shield, and up beat that shield when Crudge inevitably jumped in. Why would you do that? Uh, I, 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 oh, nope, not gonna be it. I, I just want to talk about how we've been adapting so well to Crudge's game plan. He's taken the lead on this game number two. Yeah, he I know. Is definitely a kill percent to Ike, though. He has to be extremely careful. And that's what I tell you, for Crudge, it's the 5% of stage, right? Because he's getting edge guarded. He gets the grab. This is Crudge's opportunity. He makes the charge here. He releases, but unfortunately, at that opportunity, Paper was a little bit too above him to kind of just move to the other side. Quick draw, oh my dash god, track. the dash track. Great corner to guy right there from Paper staying as oh, long yeah. up stage as he could. But the Great call out. Great call out. It's it's literally due to the. I mean, like, he gave him the fist bump, walks away, man, unplugs the joystick. Crudge with the first actual, <laughs> like, First set of the night is yeah, going to be an upset, upset going to come. And, and honestly, it's it's an upset in the sense of like, the fact that Paper is PR'd. He's not PR'd. He's just come from such a background yeah. of being Brawl. He was one of the best pay, uh, gaming watchers in SoCal for a minute, right? And Definitely just kind of the favorite.